Man, I'm such an idiot. I'm so pissed. Forgot my damn tackle boxes again. Yesterday I went for those lobsters, so I yank everything out and well, I actually had to pick up all those shirts yesterday, so I took everything out of my car. Then I decided to go with lobsters, so I just threw my lobster stuff in and today I noticed that the outgoing tide was gonna end in the evening time at Shark Channel, which hasn't happened in a long time. So I was super excited, so I said, screw it, I'm going out and threw everything in, rushed out here, and then I just getting set up to catch bait and I don't have a tackle box. My pinfish rod has the weight on it, but I lost the hook on my last pinfish out there. And I don't have any of those. My medium heavy has nothing on it. My medium has a jig head with a, a paddle tail, so I'm okay there. And then I found one five aught circle hook, and but I do have this. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, do some trolling out front. Um, golly. At least it's an outgoing tide, so there should be some stuff stacking out up there. And I just hope I don't lose that, but it'll be something. So let's go fishing. Damn it. And while I'm out here, I could do a pilcher check. Which are right there. Damn it. Son of a freaking golly, it not no hooks. Oh, I am so pissed. There they are, schools of them. They're all saying, hello, Steve. Look at that. Golly. There's a guy over there fishing. I want to see if he has any hooks and some leader I could borrow. Might salvage this day after all. And there goes Tom, my savior. So we traded, uh, I gave him a pinfish spot and then he gave me some mono leader, 30 pound, and then some two watt circle hooks and I want to catch those damn pilchards. <laughs> Day is salvaged. So we've got either baby pilchards or they're primarily I think glass minnows with medium sized pilchards in there. I don't see anything very big but there's definitely pilchards in there. All these mango snappers are surrounding them, messing with them. So I think I'm gonna pick up some. So those are decent sized ones there. Nice. Hey, there's a nice school of them right there. I just don't want to get very many little ones. Be one and done. Just gotta wait for them to get in the right spot. There's a bunch of mangrove snappers chasing them around. So that's what's kind of throwing them off. They're taking protection underneath those uh, weeds there. I think I should do them right now, right now, Senator. Oh, don't get in those weeds. I don't want a bunch of small ones. Oh, I got a ton of whatever. Look at that shine. Of glass minnows. There we go. Oh, I just gotta pick and choose the ones I need, the ones I want. It's like rain, making it rain. See, when you've got the uh, Pilchards and chum out, this is how easy it becomes. There we goes. <laughs> Fish come out of nowhere. There's some bigger ones in here. And I hear some. There we go. Out of the mangroves. Nope. Not allowed to go back in there, buddy. Eh, getting better. Gulp. Oh, there we go. Oh, get out of there. You wanted to go in those mangroves. See, every time it gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, 
Not that I want to brag so much, but I would like to say, bam, all about the bait, and bam, live bait matters. I kind of thought those pilchers would be coming in after I felt that water champ yesterday dropping into the mid 80s, lower 80s that they would start coming in. It's about that fall time, so happy days the pilchers are here. All right, we're gonna see if we could chum up some mangrove dwellers since we're waiting for this current to die. I have a feeling it's not gonna die, so we just might have to play with what we've got. And these are the guys that are busting all over the place. I want bigger. Let's see if we can pick up a, a little bit bigger. There it goes. A little bit better. Hey, stop puking all over me. Uh, getting better. Uh, the fish are all busted in here, so there must be schools of uh, glass minnows or uh, pilchards that have moved in. They're getting smashed. I know it's a lot of mango snappers, but usually you'll see uh, snook and tarpon with them. I've got a uh, pilchard on a free line. I took the weight off, and I'll be able to cast into areas if I could see anything worthwhile. Oh, there goes a tarpon. Oh, there it goes there. Oh, there's a couple of them. Just gotta figure out how to get the tarpon but not the snapper to eat my bait. There we go, got something better. I think it's that jack I saw swimming by. He liked the sound of it as well. I know there's a couple of tarpon around. And this guy, yeah, it's a jack. I saw him swimming by, so I just flicked it out there. I knew he wouldn't pass it up. So. They'll even out eat out, out eat the uh, snappers. I want to find those tarpon. So you got to go, my friend. There's a tarpon coming. I think we've got something. There he goes. Yeah. I knew it would take a little while, but we finally got him. <laughs> oh. Oh. Perfect sunset tarpon. <laughs> Persistence pays off. Didn't give up getting killed by mosquitoes and no seams, but I knew these guys would come out. <laughs> See, it's the magic hour, even on the inshore. There's just so much bait around. Light drag. Alrighty. Ugh. Let's put you to bed. Oh, 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 oh. Don't break the rod. <laughs> break your head, but don't break the rod. Man, 
man, these guys just have no end to them. There we go. Man, just won't stop. Well, this is the first tarpon for the Esky. Handled it well. Oh, man, this guy's gonna like try to sink my kayak. There he goes, I think he's done. You're done. I know you don't want to. There we go. <laughs> There's my beauty. Man, finally got him. <laughs> All right, we're done for the night. I am so stoked. Two reasons. One, pilchards are here. Oh, that just adds all, just so much uh, variety of uh, fishing styles that I could do when I've got those pilchards around. So that'll last all the way through the fall, winter time, and into spring. Pilchards, they're gonna be like, oh, fish candy. So happy they're around. And two is finally getting a dang tarpon. I mean, it's been like three, four trips. Just couldn't get them. And I finally got them on that esky rod. Super happy about that. Uh, performed flawlessly. Little guy tarpon, but still. And even more so because I stuck it out. Man, I was just having a miserable time. That weird tide not working out. The wind died and they're just mosquitoes and no CMs are just eating me up. I got more bites just to this evening than the whole summertime, but stuck with it because I knew they would be there. Uh, I was seeing them on the flats, but because the sun going down, I wouldn't see them until I'm right on them, that spook them. But I knew they were there, so I just snuck over to the, uh, the drop off from the flats to the channel and just drifted that edge, threw that pilchard out and let it get ahead of me so I wouldn't spook it by trying to uh, tow it behind me. I saw one roll up there, so I just kind of got it over there and just let it have it. I knew I would get it. Super happy about that. So, all right, call it a day. Happy days. Bye. And I want to make sure to give a big thank you to Tom, who uh, fronted me the uh, circle hooks and the leader. I mean, I was done in the water without those, so I uh, appreciate it very much. That was your tarpon, too. <laughs> See ya. Bye.